Stephen, um, congratulations, a Thank win, you. three points, but it was a battle today. What were your thoughts on the game? It's hard to process. It was a, it was a game, probably like similar games that we've had against Knockbreda, and I remember tail end of last, se last season. You know, fair play to them. They come and they have a go, and they flush, flush players forward, and they want to go and try and win games. So we didn't manage the game as well as I'd liked when we went 1-0 up, I just felt we we just didn't we just didn't have enough in all departments, creativity, we didn't impose ourselves on the game. In fact, they could have went 3-1 up by half time, if I'm being honest. Um, you know, it was one of those crazy games but that 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 was out of your control and, and we had to we had to try and find a way to, to maybe get players on the pitch that, that were on our bench and which is why we we recruited in the summer um, some good attacking players. As you say we started it really really well and of course Calvin we know is so skillful and, and got that penalty for us and mm -hmm. Darius slot it away and then after that we seem to take our foot off the yeah. pedal slightly yeah. and, and let them into the game. Mm -hmm. uh, Calvin's raging in there because he just loves scoring goals which I love you know I love about him He's, he's just not happy because he hasn't scored today. And it's not selfish, he's just a, he's just a striker who loves scoring goals. And if he doesn't have a Saturday where he scored, then, then he, he, he's, he, you know, he, he's visibly, visibly down in there. Um, but no, listen, it was a crazy game with loads of, loads of chances either side. One that the managers do not like because you have no control over what's happening on the pitch. The only thing we did do was we changed the shape and, and brought the three boys on. Uh, who are very, very much attacking. And what we said was at 1-1 that we wanted to go and win the game rather than, than hope to win the game. We wanted to actively get players on the pitch that would win the game. And two of them, I think all three subs, definitely had an influence um, with two of them scoring a goal and Kyle Beggs being a threat down the right-hand side. She said you made that triple substitution and of course Cathal then popped up and got us that really, mm. really important equaliser for us. That was a crucial goal for him and his first goal for the mm. club, of course, too. Yeah, I'm pleased for him because, you know, it's difficult for him. He's still, he's still travelling from, from Donegal to come to games and train him once a week as well. And while next week, I think he moves up to the University of Ulster, um, which means that He'll be he'll be settled more and, and, and the travelling won't be so I'm delighted for him because it it kind of it kind of cements his place within the squad and and obviously obviously Joe then does what Joe Joe can do um, pulls out an absolute absolute I don't want to give him a big head but pulls out an absolute <laughs> worldy strikers love to score goals and Joe loves to score a goal um, and the goals he has scored this season I have to say they've both have been mm -hmm. super strikes yeah yeah he's look he. He's, he's a massive talent. It's just trying to get consistency in Joe's game. On the other parts, I mean, is 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 he's he's got that in the locker. He's you know he we you know and, and to be fair to Joe, Joe stays behind and after training. And Joe Joe will probably try that 25, 30 times from wide areas. I've seen him hitting the ball from nearly the halfway line the other night. But only players like Joe in those positions will believe that they can at least hit the target and. And it, it, the strike was phenomenal. Hopefully, I'll get to see it. it is, it's already on our social media and, and Instagram, so you can watch that mm -hmm. again. Um, as we've talked about, our defence was under a lot of pressure today. Mm -hmm. um, with set pieces, you know, we struggled with yep. them. But Owen McConville was outstanding and, of course, was voted uh, Director's mm -hmm. Player of the Match today. Yeah, and I loved that, that when, when I heard it coming through. Because very much, most of the time, you, you'll get a, a player who's maybe scored the winner. or And I, and I get that, but... Owen McConville has been sensational since he came. He, he loves defending. He's a great lad, great around the changing room. But his, his defensive qualities hopefully can push us towards keeping... I know it sounds strange because we, we've never looked like a keeping a clean sheet today. But hopefully Owen can help as part of a back four or five uh, in keeping keep more clean sheets this season. He certainly, he certainly added to our defensive options. Another positive from today is we were down, of course, but the team came back and turned it around and, and we won the game. So what does that say about the character and the strength in the squad mm -hmm. at present that they believe in themselves, especially off the back of that disappointing defeat against Ards? Yeah. Well, I, I just said the, the, the lads in there that while we weren't great today and, and, and we struggled through the game in, in most areas, I also said to them that wins in this league are really hard to come by. 
So winning shows shows a character to twice to twice sort of pick themselves up and, and go and try and win the game. And and, it, and again, it would have been easy for us when we got the 2-2 to, to settle for that and, and, and sort of made that promise that I'd rather go and try and try and win games than, than try and just see out a game. I don't think against Knock Beta that would have been that would have worked anyway. You need to go and try and win a game uh, against that opposition. And fair play to them. They as much as we weren't great today, they were decent. So on Tuesday we turn to the County Antrim Shields team. We've got a break from the league. Their opponent is Dundella, mm -hmm. who we know very well. That's not going to be an easy game. No, it won't be an easy game. It never is. And obviously off off the back of, of going there and, and getting a result the last time, I'm sure I'm sure they'll be they'll be fired up to to, 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 to get a result against us. But look, we need to put some thought into the game. Um, we've got a few injuries, bumps, and 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 people coming back into the squad that, that do need to play and good players at that too. So. So we'll probably need to put some thought into, into, into putting out a team that, that not only can compete, but also, a, a, you know, because there's some players there who haven't had a lot of game time and they've been very supportive from the sidelines. So we'd like to put out a competitive team, but also a team that, that, uh, that, that of players that, that maybe haven't played quite as much.